Johnson County, how you feeling? Give it up. I am in the big JC, man. Wow. I'm telling you, driving, driving through Johnston County, I always feel like I'm in a NASCAR race. You know, because you got these narrow, windy roads, everybody's fast and aggressive. And they also used to haul a lot of illegal liquor through here. So you know, that's our history, baby. NASCAR, yeah, man. I get a lot of tickets in Johnston County. Whole lot of tickets. So Whenever people talk about the points chase and, you know, all that stuff, yeah, in that retrospect, they're talking about me. The points, the chase, yeah. That means I just got pulled the hell over, man. So I figured out, this is what I'm going to do the next time I get pulled in Johnston County. I'm just going to act like a NASCAR driver that won a race. And I don't mean I'm going to climb out the window, start hugging white girls and pour champagne on myself, because they'll shoot my ass back. <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to get prepared as soon as I hear, license and registration, please. <laughs> I'm going to lean over and get my stuff out, and I'm going to turn to the trooper, and I'm going to say, you know, we had a good day on the track today. Car held up real well. I feel really proud. And I'm going to thank my team. And when I say my team, I mean the four Mexican landscapers on the overpass there at 70 and 40 that were saying, go low, bro, go low. <laughs> I also want to thank the girl at the Texaco that gave me the premium for the price of the regular athletic. Coming back to see you, girl. Good luck in the house. I want to thank my homeboy that upsell me at the Jiffy Lube on the high mile of oil change. I think it made a difference. That's Johnson County. You gotta love it. I figured by that time I, you know, hit me with the stun gun. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Southern. I love being Southern. Where are my Southern people at? Everybody in Southern? Now, yeah, man, Southern people, we say shit we really don't mean. Uh -huh. you, know, you, you know what I'm saying? With double meaning type shit like, bless your heart. You say that to people a lot? Bless your heart. Anybody ever say that? You know what I'm saying? Bless your heart. First time somebody said that to me, I was touched. I said, man, they have put a blessing on my heart. <laughs> Until I found out it really means with your stupid ass. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm having a rough time, man. I'm, I'm taking care of older parents, man. My dad's 82, man. It's like having a teenager all over again around, you know. Because old people, they say whatever the hell they want. Because they can't, you know, you know. So my dad, he has this thing about saying really inappropriate shit to me, you know. And I tell him, Dad, you can't say the first thing that comes to your mind. Or you can't ask people about things from their past. It's just, you know, it's just not cool. But he doesn't give a damn. My dad would have a conversation with you folks that went something like this. Hey, aren't y'all the Jones family? It's the Jones family. I ain't seen y'all since your mother's funeral in 1965. Did you ever find out what it was that you had woman? Yeah, I was a pallbearer. Whatever it was that you had slapped all the ass off that woman. Some people thought it was a bear. Now, how's your brother doing? Not the one with the funny eye and the boy. No, 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 no. Not the one that wears the women's clothes. The other one. Yeah, yeah, the shoplifter. Yeah, we know him. Yeah, we were talking about him at the barber shop the other day. Bless his heart. Yeah. Seems he likes to have sex on public transportation. Runs around and calls himself a metrosexual. <laughs> my dad, please, just get the haircut. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. Yeah, man, that's a tough job raising a parent. They get into all kinds of stuff, man, you know. I remember the first time I brought a white girl home. No gas. All right, we'll keep going with this. It was kindergarten. Right? So, you know, my dad comes up, you know, he sees us sitting on the couch there together. And he looks at us with that deep, serious, southern black father look. Because this is the 70s, and he says, you know, Y'all can do things now. I couldn't do what I was growing up. So we're looking like, I knew a boy down in Harlan County when I grew up, and he had a white girlfriend, and he loved us so, and they killed that boy. And we're the little kids sitting on the couch looking at him with all intent. Then he goes, they killed that boy, and they gave him a Chinese name, now they call him He Hung High. <laughs> 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 and he walked away. That's <laughs> so my dad, I love him, man. I tell you what. What else is going on in the world? 
Sex scandals. Everybody and their mama has a sex scandal. What's up, what's up with that? Tiger Woods, man. I never thought, never thought it would happen to Tiger. And you know, I don't totally put the blame on Tiger. I gotta put it on emotional women. Ladies, <laughs> ladies, some of y'all, you talk a good game. You know, you say y'all into the casual sex, the friends with benefits, the no strings attached. But fellas, have you ever had that after casual sex phone call? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? It sounds like this. I can't believe you didn't call me. You're so dirty. You used me. On the other hand, I gotta give it up for the ladies that are real with their stuff, you know. <laughs> the ladies that after casual sex are like, woo! That was a whole lot of fun. Why do you go to the bathroom? Put your shoes and your pants on. Because you can't sleep in the air, brother, you can't sleep in the air.